Right, you guys, got a super quick video here for you on how to secure erase your SSD drive. Now, this will be a Samsung SSD drive. First off, you're going to need to make sure that you get the Samsung Magic software. Now, this is free to download. You can choose the consumer version here, hit the plus sign, and as you can see, a very small download, and install that onto your system. Once you've got it down on your system here, we can go ahead and install this. Say yes to the user account control and then go ahead and start to install. And this is gonna give you a lot of information about your solid state drive and it will help you uh, find out whether it's in good working order, good health, and also you can secure erase all the data on it. Now, you will need to wipe your system and if it's great if you want to get rid of the solid state drive or if you just want to secure erase anything and start afresh. So we're going to launch this now and you can see it's starting to scan for drive information and then once we've got this uh, scanned up it will detect all the drives on the computer. So as you can see here we're looking at our information for our Samsung SSD 850 EVO 250GB. Now if you've got more than one of these on your system you can use the drop down menu here to change it to another one. Now you can see it's telling us the drive conditions in good health and also it gives us the old version of firmware so we can update this if we want to. It does give you all the smart information for this as well when you click on this it gives you the full information about that drive and how uh, uh, power, power on count and stuff like that for that particular drive. You can see we have trim status enabled which is important and you can see rapid mode here is off but you can enable this if you want to. Now also here you'll see down the bottom we've got a bunch of uh, little tabs we can click on here and we're not going to go into it in this uh, video but we're just looking at the secure erase here. Now the secure erase will allow you to uh, create a bootable uh, USB flash drive and you can see here uh, it allows you to create one of these it's very easy to do now let me just get one of these in plugged into the actual computer and we can go ahead and create it so as you can see I've now plugged in in my uh, USB flash drive it's plugged in here and all we need to do here is start to create our USB flash drive here so you can see we have a run feature here. Just browse for your USB flash drive. Make sure you select the right one. Click OK here and then click on Start. It's just going to tell us that any data on that USB flash drive will be wiped. And you can see now we're ready to go. So if you're ready to wipe your system, you can push uh, Yes here and reboot and then choose your USB flash drive uh, as your first boot device and you will be able to then uh, wipe that drive. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the next step. Okay, so I've changed the boot order to boot to my SanDisk and there we are with at the Samsung uh, Secure Erase Utility. Now we need to type in Y uh, to continue here. Now be warned that any data on that drive will be wiped and be non-recoverable so even if you tried uh, data recovery techniques with software you will not be able to recover the data on there so before you do that make sure you've backed up everything on that drive because it will be destroyed and wiped so as you can see here we're just going to have to push Y and then we're going to push the enter key so it's now starting to drive scan uh, the system to find the actual uh, solid state drive. You can see it's found the drive and it asks us to do Y again to start the secure erase process. I've done that and you can now see it's starting to scan and erase. Very, very quick and it's complete. Now in the old days that would have took a long time to uh, scrub a drive like that, but this is completely wiped now. You won't be able to recover data. And uh, this is great if you're uh, getting rid of the actual uh, solid state drive or you're getting rid of the computer. It's also good if you wanted to do a nice fresh install on the system and uh, it would now be completely clean and wiped and no data will be recovered on that solid state drive. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching guys. Bye for now.